The traveling actor snapped his leg. He was getting a little worried. He was going to miss his performance. He needed to walk off to the next place to impress the king. He grabbed his props and began to rehearse his line. He had 37 plays he could recite on command. When a low-budget film made for a tax scam needed a villain, they always had his number on their dial. His soliloquy moved the prince to tears, but the production quality ruined the wedding party. Plague was in town, which made him roll up his cart. He donned the hair of a woman as well as a bear and a lion. The children tried to take his place and he sees his wound open. His scripts are all copied out with words missing. Because the printer has run out of ink. The people in the villages stare at him and keep him out of association because they think he's queer. He tells them his home has been burned down. So they try to jail him for being a vagrant. The church man denounces him for felling God and mocking the solemnness of his precious book. continues to swell and on the road he has to stop. The crowd comes to mock and boo him and interrupt his song. His collection of clothes makes the ladies blush. He takes a hit from the bottle to keep the feeling going. The smoke keeps out the bad voices in his head. Ahead of him, the posters announcing his coming are pulled down. At night, the city turns the lights off and the hospitals closed. The chief tells him someone using his name has been sinning. The rich only gossip with each other and pay no attention. The underbelly of the city makes an appearance at the show. it on his head and brought out the smell of pollution. All his masks were stolen by the ones leaving early. He fell to the ground and is unable to go any longer. The surgeons come out with a saw to hack off his leg. 